This video will guide you through the first use of DJI FPV Remote Controller 3 and show you how to fly using the remote controller. On the front side of the remote controller, you can find the power button, the lanyard hole, and the C1 button. The USB-C port at the bottom can be used for charging or for connecting to a computer for firmware updates. Control stick slots are located on both sides of the remote controller. On the top of the remote controller, you will find the flight pause RTH button, the flight mode switch, the gimbal dial, the customizable C2 switch, the shutter record button, and the start stop button. Connect a charger with an output of 5 volts, 2 amps, or above to the USB-C port on the remote controller, and charge the device until at least three LEDs are lit up. Press the power button once to check the current battery level. Press once, then press and hold for two seconds to power on or off. After powering on, make sure all the devices are linked and have enough battery for further operation. Connect the USB-C port of the goggles to the mobile device with the USB-C OTG cable and a suitable data cable. Make sure the network connection is stable. A prompt will appear in DJI Fly if a firmware update is available. Tap the prompt to enter the update screen and tap Update to update all devices to the latest firmware version. You can also use DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series to update the aircraft, the goggles, and the remote controller separately. Preparations before takeoff. Choose an open, unobstructed environment to fly in. Prepare the aircraft and the goggles. Take out the control sticks from the storage slots and mount them. Power on the aircraft, goggles, and remote controller. Make sure all the devices are fully charged. Place the aircraft on level ground with the rear facing you. Toggle the flight mode switch to normal mode and put on and adjust the goggles. Press the 5D button and open the menu. Go to settings, safety, and set the max flight altitude and the RTH altitude higher than the tallest building or nearby object. Check the flight live view in the goggles. Make sure that there are no warning prompts and that the GNSS signal is strong. Taking mode two as an example, in normal mode, push both sticks all the way down and then push them inwards or outwards to start the motors. If the aircraft has not taken off, push the sticks inwards or outwards again to stop the motors. When the propellers start spinning, gently push the left control stick up to take off. If the aircraft is already in the air, Push the left stick down to land and stop the motors. The left control stick allows the aircraft to ascend or descend. And adjust the orientation. The right control stick allows the aircraft to move forward backward, and to the left and right. During flight, press the flight pause RTH button on the remote controller to make the aircraft brake and hover. Scroll the gimbal dial left or right to adjust the gimbal pitch. Press the shutter record button once to take a photo, or to start or stop recording. Press and hold the switch between photo and video mode. The C2 switch is set to move the gimbal up, recenter it, or move it down by default. Toggle the flight mode switch to switch to normal, sport, or manual mode. In sport mode, the control stick operations are the same as in normal mode. During flight in sport mode, the responsiveness of the aircraft significantly increases. During takeoff or when in flight, the home point will be recorded when the GNSS icon is white. When the home point has been updated, a prompt will appear in the goggles.
Press and hold the flight pause RTH button to start RTH. The aircraft will fly to the last updated home point. During RTH, press the flight pause RTH button once to cancel RTH. Thank you for watching.